All right, I'm going to see if I can continue on. And let's see, text alignment. Okay, I don't think I have a text size on here, so I'm going to set that up. Okay. Now, when you get to the end like this, if you look up on the screen here, it's giving me an error. The reason it's giving me an error is, is it wants to know that this tag is done. There's two ways that I can end this if you look on the screen. There's two ways I can end this. I can put right here, I can put a greater than sign, and then it'll make another edit text. All right, that's totally fine, but there's no reason to do that. This can just be ended like that. And you may or may not have noticed that's what we did here. That's what we did here. But all of this is inside of a linear layout. That's not what we did here. This is self-contained. This is self-contained. This is self-contained. So everything that's self-contained, you typically end the way that it's shown right there. Now if I go back and look at design, again, it doesn't look like much. It's kind of hard to see right now, but if you look, that's what I've done. Again, it's not much, but I'm just, like I said, trying to show you the other way that you can build this. All right, so, so far we've gone through and we, we're, we've been setting stuff up. Now, and again, I picked this one because it's, one, it's, it's something we haven't done before. I'm going to add another layout. So I'm going to put a layout inside of my layouts. Totally legit to do. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another linear layout inside of the layout that I'm currently in. And you might say, well, that doesn't really make any sense. Well, look up on the screen if you would, please. This first layout that we created, its orientation is vertical. Okay? We're going to create another one it's going to be horizontal because what we'll want to do is we'll want those buttons to be one right after the other button 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 together so we'll create a horizontal layout to do that so right underneath the edit text we just did I'm gonna put in another linear layout and hit enter and you'll notice what gets created for me this this right here this is not what you see in blue, that is not the end for this linear layout. That's the end for the one on the top. All right. And I want this to be match parent. I want this one to be wrap content. And then finally, I want the orientation to be different. So Android orientation equal and this time I want it to be horizontal now notice if you look on the screen when I type in that now I get the ending tag Inside of here, I am going to add three buttons. Did you all hear me? I am going to add three buttons in here. Now, you don't have to do this, but if you look on the screen here, do you notice we've got linear layout, and you see how this right here is tabbed over automatically by the system? That is, that is, that is, and even this is, and then this stuff is tabbed. You don't have to do that. But it makes it much easier if you are looking at it in design mode to have a tab like that. You can go back and change it if you want to. Most people don't. All right, so inside of here, I'm going to create, like I said, some buttons.
what did I call these? I didn't call them that. I called them 10 percent. Is that what it was? Uh, I don't want this. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, this is. I'm sorry. This is button 10 percent. That's correct. All right. And I want. The layout width of this is going to look a little different, just so you know. I'm going to put in here 0 dp. And my height, I'm going to have it set to wrap content. Now, you'll notice I've got an error. Let's see if we can have that error go away. All right? Let me put in the other two buttons, and then we'll go back and talk about what everything in here means. The other two buttons are going to be, look on the screen, please, virtually identical. So I'm going to copy this twice. Please look on the screen. The second one will be button 15% and string 15%. The last one will be button 20% and string 20%. Other than that, they will virtually look identical to one another. All right. So there's the first one. Here will be the second one. And here will be the third one. All right, so I'll leave all three of them here. I'll move up in just a second. So that's the first button, the one for 10%, and it's followed by the second one that looks virtually identical, except it has a different ID and different text for 15%. And then finally, we'll have our last one for 20%. Look on the screen, if you would. You see what we did? Is that pretty obvious? Then here's the last one. Now, you'll notice that the width says 0 t dp, which probably doesn't make any sense. But that 0 dp for the width works with something in here you have not seen before, and that's where it says weight. All right? If I have two different things on the same line, please listen to this. You don't have to look, but please listen. If I want two different things on the same line, and I give one of them a weight of 2 and one of them a weight of 1, then the one I gave a weight of 2 will be twice as wide. Does that make sense? So you can weight, W-E-I-G-H-T, controls. All right? Now... We are now done, not with our layout, but we're done with this linear layout. All right, so we put the three buttons in there. That's what made up this linear layout. So I'm going to add, yep, you guessed, another linear layout. And 
you might look at this and go, okay, I mean, I, I sort of get what you're doing, etc. But to me, you're wasting a lot of time doing this and whatever. When you start embedding layouts within layouts, you are taking total control of where things are placed on the screen. Not only that, when you create one like this, and you, you create this, you, it is totally legit and legal for you to create two of them. One for looking at it vertically or portrait, one for looking at it horizontally or landscape. All right? So in this next layout, this will again be, oops, there, sorry. That one will be match parent, and the height will again be wrap content. But we're going to go back. Our last one was vertical. This one is going to be horizontal again. All right, so you should be right here. We've got, I don't know, the equivalent of about uh, three quarters of a page to type. Then we'll take a regular break. All right. What you're going to find when we get done is there's, there's not going to be a lot of code that we're going to put in for this. It really isn't. All right. Then when we get done, just so you know, when we get done, we're going to remove, we're going to make a copy of our whole project. We're going to remove the buttons and replace it with what's called a seek bar. All right. Some, uh, some places call it a slider. So, because right now, if we, if there's a problem with this as it exists, we can only figure out three different tip percentages. What if I want to leave 17%? Well, I could do the your 17 and a half. I could do the 15 and the 20, get them both and divide, you know, see what the difference is, divide it by two, et cetera. That sure is a pain. All right. So we will add, like I said, what's called a seek bar pretty soon. Okay. So in here, what did I do? Okay. So inside of here, our next linear layout, the first thing we're going to put in here is a text view. All right. And again, you have heard me already say this to you, that it is my preference, may or may not be yours, all right, I'm sorry, these are both wrap content, not match. My, my error. Okay. I like to put in my IDs first. So this is going to be for the tip, as you can see, All right? done this much and this much so we've got about 
not even a third of it left. Okay. Underneath this text view, we are going to add and edit text. That is the only thing we're putting, or those are the only things. The text view and the edit text are all that we're putting into that linear layout. So guess what? We have one more linear layout to do that's going to look almost just like this one. Then we're done with the design part. All right? So I'm going to come through here and make one more linear layout. Here will be the last one again. It'll have a text view and it'll have an edit text. I'm going to steal the ones that I did before and make some changes. If I did this right and I go back into design mode, there you can see it. It ain't beautiful, but it is quite functional in its current form. All right? No, I did not. Did I do that for the other one too? Yeah, no, the other one said edit text. Tip, so I kept what I copied it. I got rid of the TI, but I kept the P. So thank you. That is it. So once you get that done, it is 145. So once you get that done, come back at 2 o'clock, please, and we will add the code. Very top. 
like up there. Christy, did you want to take that book home? Okay, that's totally fine. All right, I'm going to continue on again. If you have not done so for a while, it would be a great time for you to do a file save all. And we are done basically with the activity main file. So uh, we can open up our main activity.java file and we'll add our code in there. All right, you'll notice when you look at the import statement in here, again, I can't say this to you too much. This is for backward compatibility. What will happen is every version between the newest version of the operating system that you have loaded and the one that you said you'd go back to, the system will do its best to make sure that the app looks the same and runs the same on all versions. All right? Okay. The, you know, we get that. We've got this Android OS bundle just for something different, and you don't have to do this, but I'm going to manually add my imports here. So I'm going to import android.view.view. I'm going to... Oops, I'm going to import Android widget dot button and I'm going to import Android widget dot edit text. You can see if you take a look at each one of these, you can see that other than the OS bundle, the other three that I added are currently great because we haven't put any code in yet that references it references rather any view, any button or any edit text. Okay? We're going to put that in right now. So please go underneath where it says right right up above your override here for on create right underneath where you create the class. So right there please. And I'm going to put in three edit texts. And as Mr. Hardy pointed out earlier, if you see that I've made a mistake spelling something or it looks funky, please say something. I wouldn't do that on purpose. All right. Not hearing anything. Am I right in expecting everybody is all caught up? All right. Like I said, there's not going to be much text that we're going to, or, you know, much code we're putting in here. All right.
Remember, it is no longer mandatory that you put edit text here in parentheses. You don't have to cast anymore. In fact, if you do cast, you get a warning message saying that that's obsolete and you don't have to do it anymore. 